Welcome to Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen. It's time to gather around the table to cook and converse. Right here, we'll come together to learn about Kansas agriculture and the farm families that feed us as we discover new recipes, Kansas products, and farm fresh ingredients. Good Thursday morning to you. Welcome back to 13 News this morning. I cannot wait for Chef Allie to share with you what she's making today. She's going to absolutely ruin us. We have to work for the rest of the day. You realize I'm that, sorry. right? I think I she so takes bad. joy in that. Anyway, <laughs> Ryan Flickner is joining us. He's with Kansas Farm Bureau. Ryan, mm -hmm. it's great to have you. There is a special event going on at the State House that you guys are putting on a week from today, as a matter of fact, right? That's correct, Chris. Uh, actually, next week on uh, February 12th, we have our annual Day at the State House. And as of today, we have about 210 members that have registered for that event. Uh, they'll come into Topeka, we'll have it at the Capitol Plaza, to, to start with at least, and we'll have the issue briefing, tell them a little bit about what some legislative action items have been and will be over the coming weeks, uh, have lunch with our legislators, and then that afternoon they'll go back to the Capitol and get to visit one-on-one -on -one with their local senator and local representative, and even tour the Capitol. And we had uh, Rich in last week, a lot of hot topics dealing with farm, the farm industry, farming and whatnot. Uh, one of them being water. Rich talked a lot about that. L why don't you elaborate a little bit more about the, uh, the, the big uh, thing that the governor's doing with all, I, I forget the word. What does he have? He has. He, he, he proposed the 50 year vision for vision, water okay, yes. and we're moving kind of into the next steps mm -hmm. of that right now. And he has proposed 14 regional sub basins all across the state. And those will actually start meeting uh, this week as well. Uh, mm -hmm. And really get hot and heavy into the next week. But we have, Kansas Farm Bureau has about 25 of our members that are represented on those 14 sub basins. Mm -hmm. And we look for our members to go articulate our policy and, and figure out really at the local and the regional level how they best vision water over the next 50 years. And it's a uh, big deal, big of deal. course, around here to Kansas farmers. Farming is not for the faint of heart, apparently. Nope. And I stole your line, Allie. Thank and you. That's neither all right. is <laughs> what you're making today. Tell us about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And you know, when Ryan came this morning, I said, it's Valentine's Day soon and I want to talk about something fun and he said taxes and water and I said no 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 brand okay so we are making a salted caramel pecan brownie skillet that we're going to turn into a sundae and serve it family style so Ryan I baked this up ahead of time everyone it's still a little bit warm if you would go ahead and scoop the ice cream onto that but what you actually do in your cast iron skillet which is really fun and you might need a spoon oh you're doing great um, you make your salted caramel sauce mm -hmm. with your pecans the other thing Ryan shared with me is we do have pecan farmers so yeah go ahead and stir it in no you don't need I to stir it they probably can't see it but it's just just yeah. gooey mess of goodness it is yeah it's yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. We have pecan farmers in southeast Kansas. I did not know that, so Just I think that's super cool. Are they well, pecan however, or pecan? pecan? Yeah, you say tomato, I say tomato. I say pecan. You say pecan, yeah. I do too. Same difference. Yeah. So there's our filling with all the chocolate and all the ooey gooey wonderful stuff. You bake it up, make sure you put it on a cookie sheet when you bake it because it's going to bubble up mm -hmm. and get ooey gooey mm -hmm. and oozy, all mm -hmm. that wonderful stuff. I love those words. And then when you get ready to serve this as a sundae to your family, family style, you pile it up with the ice cream. Ryan, there are the toppings. Um, there's whipped cream. You do whatever you want to. We'll let you. Sorry, I'd, I put it on curious, his side. I'd oh, be look curious at you to go. know the Weight Watcher point value of a serving. <laughs> no, of this. you wouldn't. No, actually, you wouldn't. Be curious. You do not need to know that. There's chocolate sauce, and then of course, what your kids are really gonna like sprinkles. is the sprinkles. Throw them on there. Absolutely. Yeah, we need a lot of sprinkles. Look at that. That's yeah. amazing. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's good for a, a holiday like Valentine's and Day. And then everybody sits down. You grab four spoons. Everybody digs in. I know your son Blake would love this. I, I would love this. I love <laughs> Blake. Uh, do we have anything on your Facebook page today? Absolutely. You better go there and check it out. We can't really say why, but there's always something special there on Thursday. Very nice. Ryan, thanks yep. so much. Thanks, Please Ryan. do not watch Midday in Kansas today because I'm going to eat this and I'm going to be ruined for the rest of the day, but that's okay. Yeah. I she feel so she bad. takes a lot of joy in that. Ryan, thank you so thank much. You. We'll be right back. Thanks for joining us. Kansas Farm Bureau is proud to support hardworking families across the state like farmers and ranchers who make it their life commitment to provide food that nourishes all of us. Kansas Farm Bureau, representing grassroots agriculture.